What is going on everyone? In today's video we are diving into part 2 of my Ashes PvP videos, this one talking about how exactly arenas and caravans will work. If you missed part 1 talking about node and castle sieges, you can find it at the end of this video or in the description below. In Ashes of Creation, there is large scale PvP such as sieges and smaller scale PvP such as caravans and arenas. Both of the small scale options we are talking about today are possible to do solo or in small groups, so you don't always need a massive guild to attack players without getting corrupted. As always, keep in mind it is early alpha and all of this is subject to change. Caravans are a PvP system in the game that involves risk and reward. One of the things Intrepid is very big on in Ashes of Creation that has seemed to disappear a bit in current MMORPGs in favor of a more casual experience. This feature allows players to transfer goods from one destination to another with the ability to turn a profit on those goods. There are three known types of caravans. The Mayoral Caravan, which can be summoned by mayors used to establish trade routes with other nodes or to obtain resources during caravan quests. Quest-driven caravans are caravans which are initiated by players, allowing them to choose the routes and launch times so players can't just jump in one spot waiting to attack it for goods. As a node upgrades, so do the caravan abilities, even upgrading the roads to other nodes for faster travel. And the third one which is personal caravans, which are again initiated by a player, but the player can drive and direct them in any way they would like. These can be launched from any point of storage, can transition from land to water, potentially after a brief window of time to embark, and come in varying sizes and capabilities. The caravan looks will initially be based off the player race, but you can add various skins that can be purchased or unlocked to change up their look. When caravans are activated, it creates an open PvP zone where players partaking in this will be flagged as a combatant, allowing them to attack or defend the caravan without being corrupted. If you don't know what this means, well you should probably check out this video here. If a caravan is destroyed before it reaches its destination, it will drop a portion of the goods it was transporting. Arenas are some of the few instance activities in Ashes of Creation. These small scale PvP battles will allow you to partake in 1v1, 3v3, 5v5 and possibly but not yet set in stone is a 20 man free for all deathmatch. These seem to work pretty similar to what you'd expect. There will be an arena ladder system for players to compete for the higher spot, granting you different rewards at the end of the season which are currently slated to last 6 months. These rewards can be anything from gear enhancement rewards which are runes that allow you to increase elemental damage on your weapons to various titles and achievements, along with other potential rewards yet to be revealed. Hopefully mounts. These may not just be free for all fights though, this is all very early alpha, but in this alpha zero photo shown, they appear to be in an arena where each team is to capture territories on the map. Probably not something suitable for a 1v1, but it does give you that small scale battleground feel if that is still something they are planning on doing in the final game. Other than that, not much is really known on arenas, that's it for now, but as more details come out, as alpha comes out, I will be doing more videos like this, and you will be seeing a lot more arena because I like PvP. So yeah, what are your thoughts on caravans and arenas in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you're one of the many people People who are new to Ashes and wish to join in on the forums or purchase some cosmetic packs, then be sure to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.